Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can set roles and permissions to give access to certain users to be able to do certain things that they might not be able to do before. For instance, you could give a user access to see the administrative toolbar, perhaps to create a new page, but not do anything else. So let's get started on that right now. So now that we have a couple of users, we can actually see the difference between our user roles. So in the last video, I removed the administrative role from this other user, and you can see they no longer have access to the toolbar. Now I want to slowly give them new permissions, such as having access to the toolbar and being able to at least create new content, even if they cannot publish it. So what do we do about roles? Well, if we come to our admin menu, when we select people, you'll see we have permissions and roles. Now, permissions are going to be more granular. For instance, here we have on anonymous user, authenticated user, and administrator. These check marks show exactly what these people can do. An authenticated user can view comments, they can skip comment approval and post comments, where an anonymous user can only view comments without being able to post or skip comment approval. Now you can see there's warnings that say have have security implications, and that's something to be aware about when granting different people roles who's going to be having those exact abilities. Now you can see there's a whole ton of stuff here, and for every single module you add, you might be growing this list even more. So what we want to do is first we want to add a new user role. So let's head to roles here at the top. Now we have these roles. Let's go ahead and add a new role. We can add this as content creator. Okay, so this is going to be a person who's going to be uh, actually m being able to create content but not actually publish it. So they're going to be a content creator and they're going to need an editor, an administrator, or somebody to go ahead and approve it. You'll notice I just dragged this up here. You can change the order based on sort of importance. It's nice to actually have them be sort of in order of least abilities to most abilities. That way everything sort of is nice and easy to tell at a glance. Let's head to permissions now that we have our new role. And what you'll see is we have a whole bunch of empty check boxes. However, a content creator is getting the same roles as an authenticated user. So you'll notice those are grayed out. We can't uncheck them because a content creator is an authenticated user with more permissions. So what kind of things can a content creator do? Well, we don't want them to administer blocks. We maybe want that at some point. Let's keep scrolling down. What we're going to be looking for is content. Here we have users, we have files, we have filters. Uh, right now they can have access to basic HTML or full HTML. Let's give them access to full and restricted HTML just so they can actually create their content as needed. Notice how authenticated user does not have the same options. If we keep scrolling down, administer image styles, we do not want them to administer image styles. However, node is where we would want them to have access. You'll notice node in Drupal, an individual piece of content is referred to as a node. So we want them to access the content overview page so we can check this. We want them to not be able to administer content, not administer content types, bypass access control, delete revisions, or any of this stuff. But we maybe want them to be able to view revisions and view own unpublished content. We want them to be able to create new content or even delete their own content, but not delete other people's content. And again, we'd want them to edit their own content. Now let's keep scrolling down. We could also have them be able to view revisions. Now we can have them create new basic page delete their own content, edit their own content, and view revisions. So as you can see, those are some basic permissions that we're now granting to this content creator. 
And as you can see, it's on a per content type basis. So let's say you want somebody who only manages blog posts and not basic pages. Well, you could uncheck all of these basic page things and they're only gonna have access to articles. If we continue to scroll down, you can see all sorts of other things, uh, but nothing else that we need to modify. However, we do want them to have access to the administrative toolbar. You'll notice that this administrative toolbar will be a bit different based on their permissions. So let's keep scrolling down and let's click save. Now let's head to our list of users and let's edit Scott once more and change this user. You'll see we now have content creator. Let's go ahead and save this. And now when we come back to the other logged in user, Scott, we refresh, you'll see we have a modified, very small version of the admin toolbar. It really just has their own shortcuts, their user page, and the content link. Now Drupal takes care of all this for you based on what permission. So you don't have to uh, have all these extra links there. It automatically filters it all for you. Now we click content and you see we have an added content button. Now you might be noticing this theme is not the administrative theme. So how do we get this person to have the administrative theme? Let's head back to permissions. And let's look for theme. Now I just did command F to do a find and you'll notice we have administer themes, but just a little bit further down, we have view administration theme. Let's go ahead and check that. And let's save permissions once again. You can see that saving permissions sometimes requires some tweaking. Now, if we head back to our content creator, when I refresh, the add content page looks exactly like what you would see for any other administrator. If I want to add a page, I can't. If I'd like to edit any of these pages, you'll notice I can't. There's no edit buttons. There's no way I can edit this content as it was created by somebody else. But if I add a new piece of content, let's just say an article, uh, we can just say, hello, Hi, 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 okay. And I'll come down and save this content. So you'll notice now the article has been created. And I can see it, I can view it. If I come to content, you'll notice that we have an article here and it's named hello. And now I have this operation where I can edit and or delete it. Now this doesn't hold true for this user. The administrator has access to everything. They could see that Scott posted this article and say, why, why did he post this article? He shouldn't have this here. Let's delete it and let's delete it and it's gone. So as you can see, you can make your permissions very granular. You can make a user be able to do anything that you want them to do and not do anything that you don't want them to do. Now, setting permissions is really key to having a nice user experience for your content creators and site managers. Because if you'll notice the difference between this toolbar and this toolbar is a whole lot of stuff. Now, all this extra stuff can get confusing. People might come in here, they might wanna mess with things, and they might just not know where to go. But if you have somebody whose job is to simply add content, they'll see content, add content, and it couldn't be any easier. Nothing gets lost in a whole bunch of menus, and for many people, this is entirely necessary. So make sure that you're giving your users the permissions they need by heading to people and either creating a new role or defining certain permissions. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. If you want access to the rest of these Drupal videos right away, or you just want to have them downloaded on your computer, you can purchase them at store.leveluptutorials.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.